Welcome back to the Horsepower Shop. We just made some dyno tests using that GM LS7 back there with some pretty interesting results. We were running 93 octane fuel, and after our stock baseline runs, we tried out this Fitch fuel catalyst. Our best baseline was 424 horsepower, 490 foot-pounds of torque using 20.26 gallons of fuel per hour. Then we ran our fuel lines through the catalyst canister and made three more runs. The results? We made a couple more horses and three extra foot-pounds of torque, and we used less fuel to do it, over a half a gallon per hour less. Okay, that was premium 93 octane, the fuel recommended by the factory. Now, just out of curiosity, we went ahead and switched all the dyno fuel lines back to stock without the Fitch Catalyst. Drain the fuel tank. Now we're going to do this whole test again, but instead of 93, we're using 89. Okay, same drill as previously. Warm up the motor till the oil and water temps are the same as before. Add three more pulls to 6,500 RPM. Now this time, average horsepower is 417, torque is 484 foot-pounds, and gallons per hour, 2303. We reinstall lines to run fuel through the Fitch Catalyst and make three more runs. Okay, horsepower and torque numbers are essentially the same, but check this out. The motor only needed 20.59 gallons of fuel on this run versus 23.03 on the baseline. That's almost a two and a half gallon per hour difference, which could add to a big savings over time. Now we notice that the kit also comes with these brackets that we used in the dyno, hoses with brass fittings, and even this OE style fuel line fitting with a disconnect tool. Now for older vehicles, they've got these pellets that you just drop right into the fuel tank through the filler. Now the kits start at 177, more for performance cars and diesels. Okay, cue the special effect, it's horsepower hot parts time. 